Do you want to expand your online customer reach and boost your profits? In-person, high-touch interactions with customers quickly became a thing of the past, at least temporarily, during COVID-19. Social distancing required businesses of all sizes to evolve. If you're wanting to reach more customers, it might be time to switch to a digital platform and sell remotely. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to successfully transition from in-person to online sales. I'm Noel, and this is JotForm. Let's go. The transition to remote selling can be rough, but it's really worth the effort. Even though the approach is different, don't underestimate the power of tapping into the internet for leads. The biggest challenge in an online sales setting is limited touch points to communicate what you would share in an in-person meeting. Since your target buyer is consuming less info, you have to focus on quality versus quantity. With this style of selling, you also lose nonverbal communication, such as body language and tone of voice, both crucial in producing a good customer experience. Remote selling can be effective, but you'll need to be more creative in the way you engage with prospective clients and customers. Here are some tips that can help you leverage your sales skills when selling online. Video killed the radio star and is coming for in-person customer service next. If you can't meet in person, video calls are the great next option. Reading a person's facial expressions can help you gauge the effectiveness of this interaction, giving you instant feedback so you can adjust your approach if needed. Digital conferencing is becoming increasingly popular because of the pandemic. This means people are more willing to interact over video platforms. Even if you talk over video just for the initial meeting, it sets the tone for the rest of your conversations. Do a digital trust fall. There's a higher chance that a customer will move forward with a purchase if they feel like they can trust the salesperson and the company. A recent Zoom study found that video increases trust by 82%. The numbers don't lie. Also, try to look for other ways you can build familiarity over time, such as email, social media, and phone calls. If a customer doesn't buy right away, continue to make strengthening their trust a priority. A great piece of advice in life is to just be yourself, and that advice rings true when it comes to online selling as well. Be yourself and take time to build a personal connection when talking to a customer online. Just because you're not sitting down together over a cup of coffee doesn't mean there isn't any room for small talk. Try making it a priority to start the convo with light topics. This sets the tone so you can move into the sales pitch when the time is right. Be energetic to put your customer at ease, and you might find that they look forward to meeting with you again. Just because you're having a digital interaction with someone doesn't mean you can be ill-prepared. In the same way you prepare your sales pitch before meeting someone in person, have your target talking points ready for a video call. You'll find that conversation flows easily when you're prepared with important talking points and ready for any questions. If you're going to rock the remote selling game, you have to invest in the appropriate equipment. Nobody likes having a video call that's interrupted by issues with technology. Use a wired headset since Bluetooth can be unreliable. A hardwired internet connection and a newer model laptop or smartphone can also be a great investment in order to reduce the risk of any hiccups during the conversation. With each step in the sales cycle, there is a point where your prospect might opt out. If you're going to hit a home run and complete the transaction, you need to make things as easy as possible for the customer. Put yourself in their shoes. Consider how you're supporting the customer experience in the smallest ways, including scheduling appointments, reviewing proposals, signing contracts, sending payment, and receiving their products and services. Choosing the right digital tools is an investment in your business that helps streamline your overall system. If you want to make your process as simple and user-friendly as possible, look no further than online forms. Doing so can streamline your system, reduce busy work, and optimize the user experience. These automated systems gather information from prospects and current clients. JotForm offers form templates that simplify remote selling such as negotiating sales forms, pre-sales questionnaires, and daily sales reports. If you're wanting to branch out and expand your company into the digital sphere, we've got you covered. Just remember these seven tips to help your company seamlessly transition to online selling. Really connect with your online customers with video calls. Make building trust with your clients a priority. 
Be yourself and put the customer at ease. Prepare for online calls just like you would an in-person meeting. Have talking points ready to go. Kick glitches to the curb by investing in top quality equipment. Think about the user experience and make the process as easy and simple as possible. Lastly, simplify the process every step of the way with helpful online forms. Now onwards into the digital selling sphere you go. I have faith in you. Thanks for watching Jotform. I'm Noel. See you next time.